Hi, this is Jeff Thompson from Blackjack Tactical. I'm here to uh, give a little uh, walkthrough on Serpa holsters as they apply to airsoft pistols. Uh, the first thing we're going to talk about is the Serpa concealment holster. It comes with the holster itself, a belt, loop, and paddle. Uh, the big feature about the Serpa holster is the level of retention you get. It's level 2 retention, uh, and putting your pistol in the holster, it will go in, it will lock in right here, and to remove it, it won't come out, you can't, it won't fall out, somebody can't take it from you, unless uh, there's no pressure pulling up, you push this push button right here, and then the pistol comes out, and you're automatically indexed. So that's the real big uh, retention feature and, and uh, advantage of the Serpa holster. Uh, the Serpa holsters come with two, they come with two different styles. They come with a concealment, which has the uh, belt loop here and the paddle, and then they have the Sportster, which costs about $10 less, uh, which is this one right here, and it just comes with the paddle. But you get the holster platform, so you can add on and change this to uh, use it on a drop leg platform. This is a drop leg platform that's got a QD on it right now, but you can take the holster off of this paddle right here and mount it on the drop leg and then you got your drop leg platform or you can mount this on a, um, a molly adapter which the molly adapter has got the QD on it right now uh, which we're going to display later uh, and you can put this in your QD in your uh, in your molly rig okay so that's the, the, the nice thing you can do is you can just change this up and modify it however you want to do it okay all right, that just covers the basics about the holsters. Now we're going to talk about the specifics about the guns. Okay, when you're looking to buy an airsoft gun and you want to use a Serpa holster, it's really important to realize that some guns can be used with Serpa holsters, some guns can't be used with Serpa holsters. As a for instance, is the M9A1. That's the M9 with rails. If you get an M9 with rails, it will not work with the standard Serpa holster. There is a Serpa holster out there that comes as a drop leg holster, it's got level 3 retention and it costs about $120 to $130. Uh, it, that's something that may be a factor when you're looking at buying an buying a M9. You may just decide that you don't need the rail. You want to go with an M9 that has no rails. And if you have the M9 with no rail, that will work in this M9 holster, but this one will not. No way, shape, or form will that work. So you need to understand that before you go buying a gun. If using a Serpa holster is important to you, you got to run a M9 with no rails. Okay, and pretty much all airsoft gun companies that run M9s, if it has no rails, it'll work in a Serpa holster. Okay, uh, the next thing we're going to move on is the Glocks. Okay, the Glocks, I've heard people say that there are no Serpa holsters that work with this with the WE Glock or a uh, uh, the Marui Glock because they're too fat but that's not necessarily true the Glock 2021 holster will work this is the uh, Glock 19 WE this is the um, Glock 20 holster it fits in there perfectly as you can see it's a perfect fit okay um, now, the, the KWA ATP or the KWA old school Glocks are the, the Glock width, which is a narrower width, and those use the standard Glock holster, uh, which is this right here. And the other gun that is will work with the Glock holster is the WE Big Bird. The WE Big Bird will fit right in the Glock 17 holster. It's a little tight fit. Um, if you don't like that, you could probably still use the Glock 20 holster. It'd be a little bit looser, but a little bit more likely to rattle. Where this is in real tight, no rattle. Um, where this is the Glock 20 holster, and it fits in there, but you see it rattles a little bit. So uh, the Glock 17 or Glock 19 holster will work for you. Where uh, and the Glock 20 will, but it'll give be a little bit loose. Okay. The next pistol that we've had a lot of complaints about or, or issues with 
is the WE 5.1, the WE 5.1, the 3.8, and the 4.3. The big problem we have with this pistol is this release button for the magazine. It sticks out way too much, and if you try and use this with the nylon holster, uh, your magazine will fall out. And we've had an awful lot of customers that have lost magazines, and for a good long time I stopped selling these because of that. But I saw a YouTube video that showed me, showed me the light, and I'm going to pass this on to you. It is the light-bearing 1911 holster. It is a perfect fit for the 5.1. It, it's, there's a little bit of looseness there, but it's a really good fit, and the pistol's not going to fall out, and you're not going to lose your, uh, you're not going to lose your magazine, and that's really important. Okay, and uh, other pistols that we've got, uh, the XD. Um, this is the, th the, the short barrel version of the XD. Uh, that will fit in a standard XD holster. There's nothing secret squirrel or any kind of any anything different with that particular holster. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, the next thing we're going to talk about is the attachments that the Serpa holster has that you can use to change your application. If you want to put your gun on Molly, you can use this Molly adapter right here and just slide it right in your Molly loops. It'll fit right in there, and then you can orient your holster any way you want. Okay. That's one feature. The other feature we've got is the QD, and a lot of people have got a lot of different style holsters. And a QD attachment is really neat. All you do is you have one QD. It comes with two different attachments, so you can attach it like on this Molly adapter and on your drop leg. And say one day you want to use your pistol with the um, with on your Molly, you can just have this on your Molly, and it'll just slide in like this right here and lock. See, it's in there. And then when you want to change it and you want to use it on a drop leg platform, you just un you hit these buttons right here. This comes out, and then you can just put this right in here, and it'll lock right into your uh, into your drop leg platform. And the neat thing about this is you can change it. I mean, if you want to have this slanted like this, you you're you, that's perfectly free to do that. Or if you want to change that. You undo this here, and it locks in like that. So pretty much it gives you a way where you can kind of totally modify this. Uh, other applications, we've seen people take these off, and they'll actually mount these in their car so they can, they can have their pistol. And this is more of a real steel application, but they can actually hard mount it to their pistol or their desk or um, maybe right next to that uh, cash register right over there so they can keep their pistol there at, at its ready. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, one other thing, one other plug uh, about it, when you're thinking about buying a pistol are these lanyards right here. The lanyards will save your life if you're playing out in a place like Balak where there's swamp. If, you're, if you don't holster your pistol right and it falls and you don't have a lanyard on it, it could be gone forever. And obviously these things aren't cheap. Um, this is a very low-cost investment, and it can save you an awful lot of money, time, and trouble. Uh, that's about all I can think of for right now. We're going to be continuing on with some more informational videos. If you have any questions, give us a, give us a call or you know, uh, ask on our Facebook page or, or uh, go to our YouTube channel and check us out there. Uh, checking out. Have a good one. This is uh, owner of Blackjack Tactical. Have a good one.